I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This is a rig that I got at the estate sale. got something written there but I can't tell what it is. Now I can read it. It says Welt Record. W-E-L-T-R-E-C-O-R-D. Hmm. So I'm gonna loosen up this handle and see if I can get that ratchet to come loose off the end of this thing. I don't want to damage this plastic because it's really pretty. It's coming. Not easy, but it is. There we go. Now, does this slide out? Yes, it does. This is supposed to be able to just slide around there. You know, it's like this thing's supposed to just pop back in when this slides over it. But it's it's pretty stiff. Doesn't seem to want to slide at all. Spins okay with that pin down, but once you put that pin up, doesn't want to slide. Let's try putting a little lubrication on it, see if that works. Use our WD-40 dirt and dust resistant dry lube. Well, look at that. Now she's working. Flip that over. All right. This appears to be designed to allow that to spin because with that little set screw and that groove that'll let it spin and won't let the handle slide off. We'll put a little lube on that and slide it on there. That's not, not really wanting to. Put that up so that it goes like that. Take the fine wire brush and we'll clean that up a bit.
This thing only came with a Phillips head screwdriver and it's got such a large shank it looks like a Stanley Yankee screwdriver but it's not. It's It's got the same kind of drive on it but the shank is a lot bigger. I thought I could just pop one of these in there and make it work and it probably would drive but it falls right out. This one actually fits in there and locks in and When you tighten that up, it doesn't come out so easy. Well, let's try driving a Phillips screw with it. That loop handle actually works pretty good. I can put more torque than the tip will hold. Kind of handy. So I'll have to keep my eye open for one of these screwdriver tips and a little larger Phillips. Now, most of the time, I'll admit, I'm just going to do this because this works really good. But for those times that you don't have a power tool, this actually does a really good job. Make an adapter for something like this. That'd make a handy little ratchet for those times that you need to reach into something deep. Because it gives you a good handle to hold on to. And really all it needed was a little bit of lubrication. I was thinking I was going to have to do a major job on this one. Thought perhaps the shank was bent. But it's not. It's just dried out. Good little tool and pretty. The chrome plating except for that one spot is in fine condition. This isn't nickel, it's the cheaper chrome plating. You know, it doesn't have the copper and nickel and chrome plate. It's just the probably a chrome plate on there. Flash chrome. Very nice. It's got a little detent so the handle doesn't slide off.
seems to be well made. Well trekkered. Or either welt record or welt record. Who knows? I'll look it up. We'll see what it actually is. But it's a nice little. I'll look it up. I think it'd be interesting to uh, adapt it for uh, one of these hex shanks. Either make an adapter for the hex shank or something so that this will fit in there and, and drive. Quite the little deal. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.